Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the new feature of the Cisco SD WAN. We call it Pertanal QoS. So we have a hub and we have a branch. So at the hub, we have one gigabit per second link, which is quite a big pipe of the link. But at the branch, we have a much smaller bandwidth, which is 20 meg, 10 meg, or 50 meg. Then we want to make sure that when the users want to download the traffic from the hub, it will get shape uh, at the hub itself going towards the underlay and going to the branch. We want to make sure that uh, we have a QoS inside the tunnel that go into the specific branch. So um, in this concept, we introduce the downstream bandwidth at the branch. So the downstream bandwidth is going to be at the interface of the WAN template that you can configure at the branch side. Then when you configure the downstream bandwidth, it just gets advertised up to the vSmart and then it goes talk to the hub. So then the hub knows each tunnel what is the bandwidth required or what is the bandwidth downlink to the branch. So it will shape it first. For example, the first tunnel, you shape it 20 meg before going to the branch. The second, we shape it first at 10 meg go before going to the branch number two. So it used the OMP to advertise from the branch up to the HQ. Then at each of the tunnel, we can even create the QoS inside the tunnel. So then we can have uh, multiple classes in the tunnel as well. The first class might be the critical. We reserve it to be 60% of the total. Um, we have a transactional and we have bulk data and we can assign the percentage accordingly. So then we can make sure that the traffic will be classified and reserve the bandwidth according to the requirement. Let's see how we configure it. So first we log in to the vManage and then because we can we want to set up the downstream bandwidth at each of the branch, then we go to the template at the branch, which is the WAN link. I pick one of the WAN link here, maybe gigabit zero slash zero slash two. Then I click on edit. At the branch we go to the tunnel. Then we enable the personal key OS. And because this is a branch, we don't have to enable the aggregator, right? And remember that we need to specify the values of the downstream on this tunnel. Then we go to the bandwidth downstream. Then because of the branch here, we have only 10 megabit per second downlink. Then we set it up like this. Then the 10 meg here is going to get advertised up to the vSmart and then down to the HQ. Then the HQ will see the information there. This is done at the branch side. Then we go to the hub. We go to the WAN of the DC and then we click on the interface template. We directly going, we directly going to the tunnel section and we turn on the Pertonal key OS. And because it's a hub, then we need to turn on the aggregator as well. Here. It is not done yet at the hub. We need to go to the key OS here. We need to sp specify the shaping rate. The shaping rate here it is a physical shaping. Uh, you can configure like you can shape it to one gig because uh, you have a one gig link and you remember that you need to put the QoS map here which is the underlay dash QoS like this. What is the underlay QoS? It, it is a QoS that we can configure to reserve the bandwidth per tunnel. Uh, you can go to policies, go to localized policies and I have already configured the underlay QoS within the HQ localized policy here. So let's see what is inside. I go to forwarding class and QoS. Then you can see that we have a uh, underlay QoS here configured. Then we go to view. This is the classes that we have per tunnel. 
So we have Q0, Q1, and Q2, and Q7. Then each of the Q have a different uh, values of the bandwidth percentage. Then according to these settings, then uh, the traffic will be shaped to uh, the branch, and inside the tunnel we can do the QoS based on these values. And you can put the localized policies here, the HQ localized policies, to the template of the DC. You can go to the template, device template, and then you go down to additional template. You put in the localized policy here, which is the HQ localized policies. In order to make sure that everything works fine, so you can go to the hub. This is the hub SD-WAN routers. Then uh, you can show that for uh, software SD-WAN QoS uh, target and run. Yeah. So this is the bandwidth that get advertised from the branch to the headquarter and this is destination IP of the branch, then you can make sure that uh, you have a tunnels here going from the hub to the branch, which will be shaped at the 10 megabit per second. And that is it for the configuration of the personal key OS. So for the policies that brings the applications or the traffic into the class it is in the different videos so uh, you can refer to that it is on the policy side of the SD-WAN so that is it for today uh, thank you for watching <laughs>